Welcome and thank you for choosing the on-call Platinum Blood Glucose Monitoring System. For your reference, the video will make you more familiar with the system. Installing the battery. Turn over the meter and press the battery cover tab to open it. Insert two new coin cell batteries into the battery carrier. Make sure they are positioned with the plus side facing up. Close the battery cover and make sure it snaps shut. Meter setup before testing. Press and hold the S button for two seconds to enter the meter setup mode. The meter will automatically enter the setup mode when turned on for the first time. Press the M button to switch between 12 and 24 hour mode and then press the S button to save your choice. Press the M button to adjust the year and then press the S button to save your choice. Use the same steps to set the month, day and time. Press the M button to switch between the meal marker on and off. Press the S button to confirm your selection. Use the same steps to set the audio feature and ketone indicator. Press the M button to switch between the hyper indicator on and off. Press the S button to confirm your selection. When the hyper indicator is on, press the S button and then press the M button to adjust the indicator level. Press the S button to save your choice. Use the same steps to set the hypo indicator. Press the M button to switch between the test reminder on and off. Press the S button to confirm your selection. When the test reminder is on, press the S button and then press the M button to adjust the reminder time. Press the S button to save your choice. You can set 1 to 5 reminders per day. Press the S button again to turn off the meter. Performing a quality control test. With the meter off, insert the code chip into the code chip slot. Insert a test strip into the strip port to turn the meter on and check the display. Make sure the code number that appears on the display matches the code number on the test strip vial or on the foil pouch. When the blinking test strip and blood drop symbol appear, press the M button to mark the test as a control solution test. Then the control solution symbol will appear on the display. Shake the control solution bottle well. Then squeeze and discard the first drop. Squeeze out a second drop on a clean non-absorbent surface. Touch the sample tip of the test strip to the control solution drop. Once a sufficient sample has been applied, the meter display will count down from 5 to 1 and then display the result. Compare the result to the control range printed on the test strip vial or on the foil pouch. Make sure it falls within the range. This means the blood glucose monitoring system is working properly and that you are performing the test correctly. Slide the strip ejector forward to discard the used test strip. Testing the blood. Unscrew the lancing device cover. Insert a new lancet firmly into the lancet holder. Twist the safety tab off. Carefully screw the lancet cover back on. Adjust the puncture depth by rotating the lancing device cover. Pull the caulking barrel back until it clicks. The device is now loaded and ready for obtaining a drop of blood. Prior to testing, wipe your hand with an alcohol swab or wash your hands with soap. Then dry your hands thoroughly. Massage the hand from the wrist up to the fingertip a few times to encourage blood flow. Insert a test strip into the strip port to turn on the meter and check the display. Make sure the code number that appears on the display matches the code number on the test strip file or on the foil pouch. The meter is ready for testing only when the blinking test strip and blood drop symbol appear. Hold the lancing device against the side of the fingertip to be lanced. Push the release button to prick your fingertip. Gently massage from the base to the tip of the finger to obtain a drop of blood. 
Then wipe away the first drop and obtain a second drop. Touch the blood sample to the sample tip at the end of the test strip. Once a sufficient sample has been applied, the meter will count down from 5 to 1 and then display the measurement result. After testing, record valid results in your logbook with the date and time and compare them to the target goals set by your diabetes healthcare provider. Slide the strip ejector forward to discard the used test strip. Unscrew the lancing device cover. Insert the lancet needle into the safety tab. Slide the ejector forward to discard the used lancet. Place the lancing device cover back on. Discard the used test strip and lancet properly. Please follow proper precautions and obey all local rules when disposing of blood samples and materials. Viewing Stored Records Press the M button to turn the meter on and enter the memory mode. The most recent value, the word MEM, and the date and time will appear on the display. Press the M button to go through the stored records. A pound sign indicates the record will be omitted from the average calculations. Press the S button to view the result averages. The words day average will appear on the screen. Press the M button to switch between 7, 14, 30, 60, and 90 day averages. Press the S button to turn off the display. Clearing the memory. Extreme caution should be used when clearing the memory. This is not a reversible operation. With the meter off, press and hold the M button for two seconds to enter the delete mode. Press and hold both the M and S buttons for two seconds to clear the memory. The display will show MEM and three dashes. The meter will clear its memory and turn itself off after a moment. If you entered the delete mode but want to exit without deleting the recorded data, press the S button to turn the meter off. Thanks for watching and choosing the on-call Platinum Blood Glucose Monitoring System.